guys! So, welcome to episode 2 of this Mahusive Stationery Haul. Whoops. If you love stationery and want to check out episode number 1, I'll link the previous video in the bar below. So, without further ado, let's go! First thing, these massive gold paper clips. I absolutely love the packaging and the way it swings right and left to open. These are 5 centimeters big and this is what it looks like compared to a standard paper clip. Next up, paper index clips. They're actually made out of paper. But when you finish with them, you can burn them. That's why they're eco-friendly. These come in 3 assorted colors and a total of 18 pieces. Mustard, grey and white. I really like how the bird head sticks out when you bookmark a page. Next, I received some D clips. These are chihuahua shaped and gold. The ones that I'm used to are silver and just slightly smaller, I guess. For comparison's sake, here's the two together. Next, I got a pen holder. If you've seen my show High 8 Stationery Hall, you'll notice that I've actually got one of these, but I won't say no to another one. I absolutely love this clip ruler. It's light and it's thin, so it fits perfectly in my billet journal. Also, it makes a great bookmark. Next up is the safety magic cutter. The idea of this tool is to cut without hurting yourself. If I put it onto paper, it slices. To be honest, I don't actually know how it works. The only thing that I notice is this silver dot. I presume that's where the blade is. Next up, my green traveller's pencil case. This has an elastic band on it, so it wraps really nicely around my journal uh, or any A5 notebook. I absolutely love this product. I think it is very useful and it is great for just taking the essentials and not going overboard. You know what I mean? Next he got me some Mitsubishi pencils. The green one is a 2B graphite and the red one is a red one. Just to see how it feels, I'm just comparing the normal pencil to our Nano Dia pencil. It's definitely a lot smoother and it doesn't have that grainy texture when you're shading. And here I'm just trying out the red Mitsubishi compared to the red Stretlers that I have in my collection. Here are the sample of the Stretlers, um, you can see the first one, C5, has more of a pinky tone and the other one has more of an orangey tone. But when I use the red Mitsubishi pencil, it's a lot darker and a lot more intense. They all write quite smoothly, I guess it just depends on what look you're going for. The next product is not a pencil sharpener, it's a Sunago pencil extender. So here's how it works, the tool creates a hole on one end of the pencil and a stump on the end of another pencil. When I'm finished, I can glue the two small pencils together to make a big one. And ta-da! You've got yourself a new pencil. It's definitely a way to recycle pencils and to use your favorite pencil till the end. The next thing he got me is this high polymer Pentel eraser. It's supposed to get to the nitty gritty corners, but for me, it doesn't feel like it rubs out as smooth or as clean as the ones that I'm used to. Can you guess what it is yet? It's a mini vacuum cleaner. That's right, this is the solution to cleaning all that eraser dust, all the nitty gritty dusty areas around your keyboard. For something this small to be so powerful, I'm impressed and I love it. The next item is this Delgard mechanical pencil and it's by Sebra. It's got a weird looking lead feed and that's because this design supports the lead making it unbreakable. So for comparison, here's a standard mechanical pencil. I'll click the lead out three times and write hard. Now let's try the Delgard mechanical pencil. Again, clicking three times, applying the same pressure. It doesn't snap. So I think it proves that it is unbreakable as long as it's within three clicks of lead. The pencil also comes with rubber and a couple of spare leads too. If you're a heavy writer like me, I definitely recommend this pencil. He also got me some refills, but to be honest, I don't know whether they're necessary. 
And so the final thing that I'm going to show you today is this mechanical pencil called Orens. The Orens features a retractable feed which not only makes it travel friendly but it allows you to write in almost any angle. It's great for shading. If we look closer at how this pen works, you should really just click once to start writing. The lead shouldn't be out of the lead feed. And as I'm writing, the lead feed retracts. So this helps protect the lead. As a result, it's less likely to break. I really like the shape of this pencil. It's round. When I write, it's smooth and light. It's a big fat thumbs up from me. Love it. So, I really hope you enjoy that episode. My favourite item out of this category must be the vacuum cleaner. I absolutely love this item. I definitely need it in my office. Such a handy little tool. If you've got OCD or if you just like cleanliness or if you're just lazy, then this might be the tool for you. I'll see if I can find it and I'll link it down below. Other than that, if there's any questions, then please do drop me a comment and I'll try my best to answer them. If you haven't checked out episode number one, it will explain a bit about why I have started this station haul in the first place. If you don't want to miss out on an episode, please do subscribe down there. See you guys next week. Bye.